traders, FS Berglander here. Today is Thursday, September 5th, and I'm going to be analyzing the U.S. dollar Canadian, starting on the monthly, working my way all the way down to the one hour time frame for the full top dollar analysis. So, on the dollar cat, I'm still pretty confident that this first five waves up is a wave A, and that we're now in an A, B, C, or B, which I think will likely go down and take out the lower wave four, maybe down to one of these lower fib levels, before we actually make a push up for the higher wave C. So, taking it down to the weekly time frame, on the weekly time frame, it seems like a very clear pattern to me. It seems like one, two, three, four, five waves down A, one, two, three waves up B. Yes, it is a higher high wave B, but that does happen quite a bit. I just call it an irregular wave B, and I think that this is very likely now going down for a wave C, which, like I said, should take out the lower wave for... So, taking it down to the one hour time frame. Now, the question is, is whether the subdivision of this wave C, the wave 1 of wave C, is over. Looking across the board, I do think it is likely over. And if it is over, then probably we're going to make a pretty significant pullback. Probably at least up to one of these three or four higher Fibonacci levels. I would expect to see some sort of a three way pattern to the upside for like a wave 2, and then potentially eventually go back down for a wave 3. So, keeping that in mind, let's take it down to the four hour time frame. On the four hour time frame, this move up to me definitely looks like a trend, which is why I think it is likely a wave A. I think that this right uh, here is potentially going to end up being like an A, B, C, or B, and then I think we'll probably go up again for a wave C. And I think this is likely all an A, B, C, of 2, just like what I was saying on the higher time frames. So, taking it down to the one hour time frame. On the one hour time frame, I'm paying very close attention to these Fibonacci levels right here. I don't know, to me, it really looks like this is actually a downtrend, like only a wave A. So, it might actually pop up, take out these highs for a wave B, and then go down again for a wave C. You know, do a little bit of a bull trap before it actually goes down and really bounces from a Fib level and really continues the uptrend. So, I would expect to see more of a proper three way pullback before we actually do continue up. But if it does break and hold above Strutzer, then I probably would start looking for longs again because sometimes what we think is a way B just ends up continuing the uptrend. So don't forget to join my free Discord channel, which is linked down here in the corner. And as always, thank you and happy trading.